And hello everyone, it's Peter Zellum's Greeny Flix Adventure 8. Today I've got an interesting uh, video. Autofocus. Um, what's the point, uh, particularly on fast lenses? I'm going to be doing some filming with this Leica Noctilux 50mm f0.95. Right now it's manual focus and I like using it manual focus with my Leica M240p but would it be useful for videoing these sort of shots with an autofocus adapter? Good question, let's find out. As a reference, I've got the Z6 with the 24 to 70 on the camera right now, with set at 50 millimeters. So it's shooting at f4. So that just gives you a comparison of the depth of field, what you see in the background, where I am right now. Um, if I move closer, and the camera is obviously adjusting with a focus, I presume. There. And if I move back, and then back again, so at least that's our reference point. Gives you that depth of field, gives you the perspective of what the image looks like. On the camera right now, I'm using a Leica 50mm f1.4 lens, Sumulax, on my Nikon Z6 with an adapter, of course, so they can fit. It's not autofocus, which means if I come into the picture, Sure, further closer to the camera, I should be able to focus. And if I come back and move back here, I should be out of focus as well. Right now, I've set up the focus. I think I've got my eyes there in focus. But what if I could make that autofocus? And is it worth it? For video, I think it's worth, for, worth it. For stills, I'm still in two minds with regards to autofocus on those really wide lenses that let a lot of light in and really shallow depth of field. So to make um, a manual lens like this one, autofocus, you need to use an adapter. Now one that I've been reviewing quite a bit over the last month or so is the Megadapt autofocus adapter for the Nikon, for the Nikon Z6 and Z7 and Z62, Z72 or the Z-mount cameras in general, uh, this adapter. And I've used it with Nikkor lenses, I've used it with uh, Voigtlander lenses, different varying lengths as well, and different apertures. But let's uh, just focus on these really wide open ones, the 1.4s, the 1.2s, the 0 0.95. So that's what I need to use on the Z6 here, this autofocus adapter. If you haven't watched some of the other videos, long as uh, simple of it is that it all connects electronically to the Z6 body. And the way it makes it over autofocus is you've got this inside collar here with a screw type thingy bob in there, which then makes that, that whole mount slide in and out. It can move six millimeters. Now for Leica lenses, that's sufficient because there's so little movement with Leica lenses with maximum focus extremes. So um, that's how it works. Now, with regards to still photography, and this is particularly I notice I haven't had the, the Noctilux very long, so I'm still sort of experimenting with it, how I like to use it, etc. But what I did notice the other night when I was taking shots uh, in very low light conditions, which is what it's, what it's designed for, of people with lights in the background to have a nice uh, bokeh, bokeh, whatever, and what I found was that manual work, <laughs> I ended up using manual, obviously it's manual, right? But with a rangefinder, it's actually quite easy to sort of pick up a point and use a rangefinder to get your focus and then take the shot. Now, people, what I do find is it slows the whole process down and people do, are prepared to to um, accept the time and uh, spend the time and then 
it, you know, like most things, if you put the effort in, you get a better result. So when your subject actually puts in the effort to stay still, to pose, to think about what they're doing, you actually get a better result, I think. So I have no problems, no qualms whatsoever with manual focus. I don't need autofocus for stills. There are times um, when I do a photo shoot, for example, in a studio and I've got a model that's moving around and swishing hair, etc. Autofocus obviously helps as long as you can have your depth of field right. Otherwise, you tend to miss, miss the focus anyway. Autofocus obviously comes into its own in wildlife photography, particularly when you've got a moving subject. And then the, the autofocus mechanisms on the, on the Z mount cameras or mirrorless cameras come to their own and working with the lenses. And um, there's no substitute to an autofocus le lens being designed autofocus to have that speed as well. However, the Megadap does come in, in, adapter does come into its own, I think, for videoing. And it's in these sort of situations where I think it works the best. So let's try it out. I'll try it out with both the 50mm f1.4 Leica lens as well as this 0.95. Now, there is a bit of a disclaimer on the Megadap. That is that uh, all their paperwork and website, whatever, it's designed to go to lenses that are as fast as f1.4. So we're going out of the theoretical limits of that and moving on going to this 0 0.095. The other thing is the firmware that I've got on update on this is version 1.3.1, I think. The latest version is point, uh, 2.0. Now, I didn't have much success with that version. So I'm still shooting on version 1.3.1. Okay, let's attach and then see what sort of results we get. All right, so I've got the, I've got the Mega Adapt adapter now attached to the Z6 and the 50mm Sumolux, 50mm Sumolux F1.4. Okay, so, um, as you can see, I'm sort of moving closer now. I have my subject again. And, um, and then I, as I move away, it's adjusting, which is good, because that's what, exactly what it's supposed to do. And then if there's any fine movement around the place and getting even closer, uh, then the lens will be adjusting automatically. So that's why I think the, the Megadap comes into its own for these videoing situations. So if there are slight movements, then it maintains that focus as well. The Z6 obviously is focused on the face and the eye, so even when you bring an object closer like that, it's still going to be focusing on me rather than the object. So if I want, I want the scene to include the object, it's just easier to come forward like that, so the camera is still focusing on the face, but it actually brings my subject or my other subject into focus as well. So that's the theory. Okay, so 1.4 50mm Simulux, is fine, I think, with the with uh, the Megadapt adapter autofocus. Let's try this baby now on the Z6. So this is at 0 0.095 f 0 0.95. So the question is, can it focus like that? Um, on the Z6. So here we go again. I've got my F1.4 Sumilux. And if I sort of move in closer here, and um, how's that handling the focus? 0 0.95. Whoever heard of a Leica 0 0.95 lens focusing autofocus? Well, it is, it's true. It's happening on the Z6. Amazing! I mean, to have autofocus on this Leica Noctilux 0.95 is incredible. I guess like with, with all lenses and equipment, whether it be your camera body or the lens itself, every lens, every body has its own peculiar features and functions, particularly with lenses. Um, 
the f-stop, the detail, the artistic qualities, etc. It's up to you as a photographer to work out how you're going to use the peculiarities of the lens that you have for the image that you want to create, either video or stills. So, and I guess like most things, you have to just experiment, uh, find out different techniques to use your equipment to, to try and get that interesting result. So, Long and the short of it is, um, the Meg Adapt adapter is definitely a crucial component for my videoing to use my really fast lenses. It's great. Um, I love using some of the old vintage lenses for stills and they even they come into their own in using them for videos. Can't, can't recommend it highly enough. So there will be more stuff, more stills, more videos on the Noctilux as I experiment with it. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of other uh, lenses, vintage lenses, older lenses, plus film bodies. Oh, there's going to be so much material coming out in 2021, not to mention the adventure travel as well. I hope you like this video. Thumbs up. It's really important. Uh, give a thumb up. You know, that really helps with YouTube algorithms, etc. Helps video creators like myself and uh, to bring more material to you as well. If this is the first time to my channel, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.